lecture we are going to see two level implementations of boolean functions uh, in previous lectures we have already seen implementations of boolean functions using basic gates using universal gates in this lecture we are going to give some names to that implementations the first one is we will discuss is two level implementations later we will discuss multi level implementations so what is this two level or multi level is suppose if the boolean function is in sop form that is sum of products form and product of sums form then that function can be implemented in two levels so what is this two level is so in level 1 i i can use only and gate in level 2 i can use only or gate similarly or gate and gate similarly uh, nand and nand only nand gates and only nor gates in first level and second level so this is the two level implementation if we want to implement in two level the given uh, boolean function should be in either one of this form either sop form and pos form so if it is in this form only then only we can implement in two levels now once we'll see some example then it will be clear suppose the given uh, boolean function is in sop form then suppose example is f is equal to ab plus cd and the second example is f is equal to ab bar plus a bar b now first we will see using only and and r gates so only and comma r gates right now see if you see ab i can implement using and gate and cd i can also implement using and gate so this is ab this is cd this is one level and these two outputs will go to the one r gate which is in second level then it will give the function value so this is level one and this is level 2 right sometimes we may use in place of uh, this uh, and gate we may use not gate also right similarly same expression i can use only nand gates in two levels that is f is equal to ab plus cd now when we uh, discussed about the implementations using only nand gates i have given some steps so what is the step one take complement then it will become ab plus cd whole bar right then apply the demorgan theorem so it will become ab bar into cd bar this is f bar but we need f only so make make one more complement this will become a f this is whole bar then what is this so ab bar so one nand gate then cd bar one more nand gate this is ab this is cd then one more nand gate total so this will become this is level one and this is level 2 so in two levels i will use only nand gates so this is the uh, what you call two level implementations now if i take this example ab bar plus a bar b which is xor gate now we will see only and and r gates now if we see this is a one and gate this is one more and gate so if i already having the complement that is a b bar then this will become one and gate then this also become one and the gate which is a bar b so already we have to give the complement so we have to invert the inputs then here only sim so this is and gate not and gate and gate then it will become r so this is the function value a b bar plus a bar b it is in two levels right so two level means so if there is any complement we have to take directly complement now similarly if y is equal to a b bar plus a bar b how to implement using two level nand gates same procedure so this is f f complement so it will become a b bar plus a bar b whole bar so what is this f bar is equal to apply the de morgan's theorem it will become a b bar into a bar b whole bar then f is equal to f complement whole complement so a b bar into a bar b this is complement and whole complement so same nand gate which will give a b bar then one more nand gate which is a bar b so one more nand gate so the final f, f is equal to a b bar plus a bar b this is also two level implementation right now uh, i'll take some different examples suppose suppose f is equal to a b plus c bar plus b c right so then how to implement this one? so a b means one and gate c bar means one not gate so this is a b this is c then b c so b c means one more and gate so three input 
goes to one more OR gate. So this is functional. See, this is level one, level two. In level one, I can use AND gate, NOT gate, again AND gate. Right. Finally, we have to use OR gate. So this is also two level implementations of this Boolean function. Similarly, you can go for the uh, only NAND gates. You try another one. Right. So this is about the SOP one. Now, if it is in POS form, so we have to use R first, then AND next. Similarly, using only NOR gates, we have to use. If it is a POS form, we have to use only NOR gate. If it is a SOP form, we have to use only NAND gates. So, how to uh, implement this one? So, first one is A plus B. So, how to implement A plus B means we have to use R gate. This is A, B, then C, D, one more R gate, C, D. So both output goes to one AND gate, so which, which will give A plus B into C plus D. This is the function. See again, two levels. Now how to implement using only NOR gates. So same function is equal to A plus B into C plus D. How to implement? Take complement, F complement. So whole complement means I'm taking directly. So it will become A plus B whole bar plus C plus D whole bar. Now what we need, we need only f. So f is equal to f bar whole bar. So it should become a plus b bar plus c plus d bar whole bar. I know this is like x plus y whole bar. So it's simply NOR gate. So first I will use one NOR gate to implement a plus b whole bar. Then one more NOR gate to implement c plus d whole bar a, b, c, d. So bubble indicates inversion. Then over on one more NOR gate. So function will become A plus B into C plus B. This is again two level implementations. Right. Now if I take uh, the example something different like this then how to. So A plus B whole bar means sorry A plus B bar. So one R gate required. So A plus B bar one R gate. Then it directly C. So I can give it to directly C. Then this is B plus C plus D. So three input R gate. So B plus C plus D. Right. So three output goes to one AND gate here. So which will give this is A plus B bar. This is directly C. This is B plus C plus D. So finally we will get the functional value F. This is again two level implementation. If they suppose this is C bar. So we have to may here one not gate right so this is about this one now if i take f is equal to same function a plus b bar into c into b plus c plus d now how to implement using only nor gates first take complement so if i take complement i'm taking directly complement so this will become a plus b bar whole bar in plus a b c whole bar means a bar plus b bar plus c bar that is b plus c plus d whole bar then I don't require complement, I require F. So A plus B bar plus C bar plus B plus C plus D bar and whole bar. So it's looking like X plus Y plus Z whole bar. So nothing but NOR gate. So first to NOR gate. So I instead complement here. So this is A B bar. So one NOR gate. Then C bar. How to implement C bar using NOR gate? Like this. Yes or no? B both inputs are same. So I will get an inverter. Next one is three input NOR gate B C D so all goes to one more NOR gate which is three input NOR gate so we'll get function value here right so this is about the two level implementation so when I want to implement in two levels the given function boolean function should be either POS form or SOP form just we have to remember that one so we will see multi level implementations if the levels are three or more than three then we can say it is a multi-level implementation that is if the given boolean function is is not in sop form or pos form then we will get three stages or more than three stages right suppose the given function is like this then if i want to implement directly this function right then how many stages we will get we will see so in first stage if you see this one so this is see inside there is a and gate this is also one and gate now if I take this is A, then this is B, then C, D, this is. So I want first CD. So this is CD and I need one more C bar D also. 
So C bar I can take directly. This is CD. Then one more AND gate. So at the first level, this is the level one or stage one also level one. Then in next level, see if you see it is B plus CD. So this is B is going and it is adding or doing the R gate. So it is a B plus CD. So suppose this is in second level. Now in the third level, so A into B plus CD. So these two are going and giving to one more AND gate. Then final stage, we can say this is C bar. All are going to the one more R gate. So this is one more R gate. So this is one more level. This will get the function value. So this is two. This is three. At four, le fourth level, we are getting the function value. So something like this. So this is the multi-level implementations using the basic gates, right? AND gate, R gate, right? So that is about this one. If I want to implement this function using only NAND gates, that also possible, right? So how to do that one? So we know the procedure A into B plus C D plus C bar D, right? Now what is the step? F complement is equal to whole complement. So I, I will take directly B plus C D bar. So this is, uh, suppose if I assume this is X, X plus Y bar. So X bar into Y bar. So that is C bar D bar. But what we what we need we need the f only so whole bar I will get a into b plus c d bar into c bar d bar and whole bar so first we have to implement this one and this one then I give into the nand function how to implement this function so first I have to implement this nand gate then one more nand gate and total nand gate so that's why I have taken this is separate so in this again we have to separate this one b plus c d so how to implement this one so using NAND gate so if I take complement and whole complement so this will become B bar into CD bar whole bar so which will become B plus CD so first I have to implement CD bar so CD means one NAND gate this is CD so what I will get CD bar then it is going to the one more NAND gate which is B bar with CD bar whole bar so here I will get B plus CD so then if I give it to one more NAND gate with A so what I will get A into B plus C D whole bar. So that is the first one. I mean we got the second one is C bar D whole bar. So how to get C bar D whole bar? So directly this is C bar I can take this is D. So I can take directly here C bar D whole bar. So both goes to one more final NAND gate which will become the function value F. See so we have to use the multi levels using the only NAND gates also suppose this is the function is given then how to implement these functions using AND and R gates then also we will get the multi levels because it is not in SOP form now so AND gates and R gates we have to use in first stage I will use one AND gate to become AB then one more AND gate which will become A bar B bar this is the first level in second level I have to give it to the one R gate which will become a b plus a bar b bar right so in the first level also i can use c plus d to become c plus d so one more r gate c and d then finally these two goes to one more hand gate which will become function value f so a b plus a bar b bar into c plus d right so this is the multi level right so this r gate we can use either here or here also no problem right so three levels we will get now if the same function if I want to implement using only NOR gates how to do so take f is equal to a b plus a bar b bar into c plus t so what we need to do take complement f complement a b plus a bar b bar I will take directly bar plus c plus d bar this is a complement now what we need f so f complement whole complement so this is a b plus a bar b bar whole bar plus c plus d bar and total whole bar so x plus y whole bar so first we need to implement a b plus a bar b bar whole bar right How to implement this f so what i have taken is this is some x capital x this is y so x plus y whole bar so i have taken directly this separately function f1 is equal to a b plus a bar b bar whole bar now how to implement this is like x plus y whole bar so this is AND gate, this is also AND gate. So to implement AND gate, how to use NOR gate. See, if I take A bar and B bar, one 
nor gate what i will get a bar plus b bar whole bar which is nothing but ab right similarly to get a a bar into b bar if i give one nor gate that is a into b so it will become a plus b whole bar which is a bar into b bar so i have sub i have See this one is a bar plus b bar whole bar which is nothing but a into b. So I created a b and a bar b. So both goes to one nor gate. So which will give a b plus a bar b bar whole bar. So I got this one. Next one is c plus d whole bar. So c plus d. So c plus d whole bar means is nothing but one nor gate. So both will goes to one more nor gate, which will give the function value. That's it. Right? Again. Three levels we will get in this function. So this is the multi-level implementations. If it is not in the form of the this SOP form, so we will get multi-levels. It may be AND gates, OR gates, etc. Are using only NOR gates. If it is a SOP form, using only AND gates or AND gate and OR gates. So this is about the multi-level and two-level implementations. Now we will see two important concepts. That is degenerate and non-degenerate forms of two level implementations that is so how many combinations we are having when we are going for two level combinations of gates so we'll have four gates that is AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate and NOR gate suppose if we have taken one gate at one level and one gate another level how many combinations we will get we will get total 16 combinations we will get that is AND gate with OR and gate with and and gate with nand and gate with nor similarly r with r r with and nand and nor similarly nand with r and nand nor nor with r and nand nor so how many combinations total 16 possible combinations we will get in two levels right now in this two in this 16 combinations we will have degenerate forms as well as non degenerate forms so first we will discuss degenerate forms so what is this degenerate forms if two level implementations so when we implement these uh, two level gates if it is degenerate to single operation right then those form is called degenerate form right so what are those degenerate form is suppose if there is an AND AND, so first level is AND gate, second level is AND gate, so final or uh, the operation is AND gate only, right? So it is single operation. If any two level implementation is going to become one single operation, so that form is called degenerate form, right? You can verify all these combinations AND AND, AND NOND, NAND, R R, R NOR and so on. Now I will take two examples, you do the remaining. Now if I take AND gate AND gate, suppose this is A, this is B AND A gate, one more AND gate if I take in second level, this is C, what is the final output A, B, C. So this is the AND function of three inputs. I take this R and NOR, so first gate is R, so A, B, so what I will get A plus B. If second gate is NOR, so this is C, what is the total output A plus B plus C complement. So what is this? If it is a De Morgan's theorem, if I apply, I will get A bar, B bar, C bar. What is this? Again, AND function. It is becoming single operation, which is AND function. Now, similarly, if I take NOR NAND. So, first gate is NOR. So, A, B. So, it will give A plus B whole bar, which is nothing but A bar, B bar. Then, if I take NAND gate, so what I will get? This is suppose C, NAND gate. So, what is become? A bar, B bar, C whole bar. Now apply De Morgan's theorem, we will get A plus B plus C bar. What is this operation? Simple R operation. So if any two level implementation is becoming single operation, that will become degenerate form. Right? Now how to identify, suppose in the exam, so identify the degenerate form. What you do is just take, suppose this is in the option. So anyway, these two are very easy, right? So suppose this is in the option, NAND and R. So what do you do? Take NAND gate, give any inputs, so it will become A, B, whole bar, then R gate. So what is R gate? C. So A, B, whole bar plus C. So what is A, B, whole bar mean? A bar plus B bar plus C. What is this operation? Simple R operation. Right? So this is a degenerate form. So you have to uh, apply like that. If you, are, if you don't remember, but you have to remember the concept. That's it. 
next we will discuss the non degenerate form so now it's very simple non degenerate non degenerate form is what it should not be in a single operation or we can say this non degenerate forms produce an implementation in sop form or pys form if you are getting either sop form or pys form then that is called a non degenerate form so what are the possible is and or and not so the remaining the eight combinations uh, we got non degenerate form the other eight will be non degenerate form something like this and or and not with or we'll get and or nan with nan 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 and with nor nor or nor nor so these are the non degenerate form i'll i will say i'll take one example then it will be crazy if i take nan and nan so if i take a b so this is nan gate so what is this a b whole bar right then if I take uh, one more NAND gate here, CD, so it will become CD bar. So what is the one more if I take NAND gate? So it will become AB plus CD. What is this? It is in SOP form, right? So you, you can if you take uh, one single also, suppose I will take NAR R. So NAR, this is A plus B bar. This is AB. And if I give it to one more NAR, oh, sorry, R gate, right? So this is C. So what is this? A plus B whole bar plus C. What is this A plus B whole bar? A bar, B bar plus C. What is this? It is in SOP form, right? Sum of products. So that's it. So that's why we call non degenerate form. So non degenerate forms produce the given expression is in either SOP form or PoS form. So it will produce expression in SOP or PoS form. So that is the non degenerate form. So we may get question in the exam that is identify the non-degenerate forms or identify the degenerate forms. So no need to remember this combination. So the and or and or and so on, right? Don't no need of any remembering. Just remember the concept. So it should provide produce sum of product form, something like this. And the, this one degenerate form it should be produced to single operation that is R gate and gate nand gate whatever right so that is about this one right now we'll uh, see the duality between the gates right so what is the dual gate of and gate dual gate of r gate and so on we have discussed duality principle in the second unit in boolean algebra that is this dot that is and will be replaced by r gate and if it is the r is there and gate right and they, if there is a 1 is there, we have to replace with 0, 0 replaced by 1. These are the duality principle we discussed. So when we apply this in the gates, so what is the AND gate dual is R gate. And what is the R gate dual is AND gate, that is already we know. What is the NOR gate dual it is, is NAND gate. Now how to, what is the NOR gate expression? A plus B whole bar. Now wherever, uh, what you call plus is there, that is R is there, make it as AND. So A into B whole bar. So this is the dual of this one. So what is the dual of NOR gate? NAND gate. Similarly, dual of NAND gate will get NOR gate. Now, if I uh, take XOR gate, that is Y is equal to AB bar plus A bar B. What is the dual of this one? So dual means if there is a multiplication, make it as plus. So A plus B bar. If there is a plus, make it as dot. So A bar, then again dot is there. So make it plus. So what is this? A into A bar 0. A into B. So AB plus a bar into b bar a bar b bar then b into b bar 0 so what is the dual of xr gate we are getting x nor gate right so that is this uh, y i mean the duality of xr gate so dual of dual of xr gate is equal to complement of xr gate complement of xr gate sr now what is the complement of xr gate is nothing but x nor so we are getting yd that is dual of xr is equal to uh, complement of xr is equal to x nor gate or we can say both are equal so we may get question so what is uh, dual of xr gate and what is the complement of xr gate or uh, i mean there's some relation they will give similarly if i find the dual of this uh, x naught so what is this a plus b into a bar plus b bar again if i multiply a into a bar 0 a into b bar a b bar plus a bar b plus b into b bar 0. So what is the dual of x naught? We will get x r. Here what is the dual of x r? We will get x naught. And which is also equal to the complement. S r now. 
so that is the conclusion so in xor gate dual and complement will be same similarly in xnor dual and complement will be same right so this is the duality between the gates right